Don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers or pins or like assholes and assholes are like podcasts. Everybody has one. From left to right, we got Mr. Shoot the Fade, Big Yago in the building. We got Podzilla, Nino Green in the building. We got Black Jesus, Arco in the building. God we got bless y'all. CDM, Bezo, Slim, Beezy in the building. And last but certainly not least, City of Jim Productions own Chuck in the back with the facts. Moment of silence for the competition. All right, enough of that. Now I need you to make some noise for your motherfucking boys. <laughs> 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 What's up with the gang, man? Hey, man, you know. How y'all feeling? Feeling good, man. What y'all week been like? Whole lot of work. Just work, man. Just Whole straight, lot of it. Just working, man. Well, my week has been bullshit. Talk to mm. me. I get out for work yesterday, right? I was on my way to Columbus so I can go pick up this bed frame that I bought for my bedroom. I'm on 35 going towards... uh. Washington Courthouse. I'm on the phone with Yego. As we talking, my wheel get to shaking real. I mean, my steering wheel get to shaking real hard. Mm-hmm. And like my truck was damn near vibrating. Like, Ooh. next thing I heard was this loud ass pop. <clears throat> my truck went down <laughs> like this and it starts like sliding towards the, the guardrail. Mm-hmm. So I had to, um, you know, maneuver like a professional, maneuver my way out of a, a, a worse situation. But when I got out of my truck and I went to look at my tire blew up mm. and fucked up the front bumper to my car, the right uh, fender of my car, mm. and that little under panel mm. that uh, go up under the door. So, you know, yep. when you open your doors, it's that little under panel under the, and blew and tore that motherfucker. That's hanging with zip ties right now. Ugh. Fuck my shit up, man. I was so hurt. I damn near wanted to cry. I didn't even know a tire blow could do something like that to your car. You know how you got that little thing up behind your wheel that, like, mm-hmm. separates your wheel from, like, the wires and the engine and all that shit? Mm-hmm. Blew that motherfucker off Damn. and everything, bro. Yeah, that's a freak accident yeah, right but, there. But th- thank God for full coverage because I got to pay a whew, I gotta pay a hefty $500 deductible. <laughs> <laughs> But I get a rental car for like 30 days. <laughs> so all is well. Yeah, going to Michigan. 500 is really slight compared to what you would have to pay out, the, out of pocket. If to I would, most oh, definitely. Yeah, sure. Because not only did it fuck up the bumper, but the, the light that feet. sit in the bumper, that motherfucker sticking out like, yeah. ugh. Yeah, got my shit looking ugly, man. Like a bomb went off <laughs> under your shit. So yeah, I'm dropping that off tomorrow. So that you start getting the repairs and yeah, that was I ain't gonna lie, that was a scary moment, boy. Mm. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I'm saying that it highway was, ain't no joke. It boy. was so loud, Yago thought I ran into something. Yeah, I thought, I, I thought, thought he I, wrecked. Mm. At first, and that's how I loud the like blow. Flapping. The tire popping. Mm. Like, flap, 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 flap. It was flapping like somebody was mm. Uh, mm. whacking it real fast. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> type shit. That's crazy. But yeah, that's what's been going on with me outside of that. Hear that brother. Everything Man. is everything. How's everybody energy? Hey. Hey. Good spirits today. I feel good. I'm good trying spirit. to look alive. Yeah. Trying to look alive. You feel know. Feel good. I'm hey. ready to uh, run through this shit. Before and, uh, we get, get out started, of here. I want to ask you, where you at on Wukong? I ain't even been able to get back on it gotcha. since the last time. Um, it's still the big head gold baby beating my uh-huh. ass. Yeah. yeah. Fun. Fun times. Big head go, baby. Yeah, you you you'll you'll, you'll see. Yeah, you'll get there for sure. Um, hmm. I guess we gotta speak on the death of Rich Homie Quan. Let's kick this off. Yes. All sir. right. All right. Rest in peace to a, a young legend. Yeah, most definitely. Um, what was y'all takes on that? Whenever y'all saw that first, when as soon as you heard he died, before you heard anything else, where was your mind at when you heard that? Before I heard anything else, when I first heard it, I'm like. Damn, this nigga, young thug is like fucking the, the fucking Joker, man. It's mm. it's no stopping him. Yeah. That was my first. My first reaction was because I'm I'm at work when I hear the news. You know what I'm saying. So I ain't really had a chance to get in my phone. But 
once I got at, once I got home, I'm like, is it true? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking it's just a rumor or whatever. Mm-hmm. But after that, I said, man, I'm begging. Uh, I promise I won't stop going in immediately. Like, up uh, immediately. I think I'm, the game. I'm pretty sure everybody did. Yeah, I was about to say, I was sorry. I was like, damn, I think it's crazy that he was supposed to testify and then he died. I was like, the timing on this is... But... The Joker. Crazy. But then but, again, when you figure out his cause of death, mm-hmm. it's like, uh, yeah, that's such a gray area. It is. So it says, <coughs> Rich Homie Quine, born DeQuantes Lamar, died Thursday, September 5th at 34 years old. Mm. The Fulton County Medical Examiner confirmed to Billboard. TMZ first confirmed the news, but before the report, an abundance of artists paid tribute to Quine on social media with Boosie Badass, Jay Queese, and more sending... Their condolences. Uh. So, you know how, like, some people, when you hear that they die, you kind of don't be, like, surprised by it? Uh, mm-hmm. This is one of them ones that wasn't that for me. Like, for sure. What the fuck? What? How he quiet died? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. younger than me. He, like, th- he yeah, died at 34. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, that was just mind-blowing. And knowing that he was about to start gearing back up and try to go on another run, it's like, boy. Yeah. Somebody didn't want to see you go on that that motherfucker that that last lap around the sun, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, it, what make it so bad is a lot of people on social media. You know, when a motherfucker died, that's when motherfuckers being like an uproar and oh my god, I can't believe it. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people were saying like, man, y'all ain't listen to Rich Homie Quine and such and such and such and such and such and such. But those people are haters. Speaking for me, I mean, but that's factuals though. Like some people completely dismissed dude like mm-hmm. but i am one of them people hey, here to say I, I have never stopped banging rich homie kwan mm-hmm. for sure that shit was irritating I was, you see, I, you I feel me like, that new shit so <laughs> seeing seeing that he died that really fucked me up because i really fuck with dude yeah. you know what i mean he yeah. one of them artists where it didn't really matter how much time passed mm-hmm. i would still invest my time to listen to you so mm-hmm. that shit was kind of fucked up um and Yego, he made a valid point. The other day, he posted in here where it showed um, Rich Homie's album sales. And it's just crazy how whenever you're around, people ain't really checking for you. But the moment you die, it's like everybody is like, it's like bandwagon support, like for bandwagon sure. streams. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Zedica said that back in, what, 2003. Yeah, but I'm not mad that his shit went up because I'm pretty sure eventually that shit gonna trickle yeah. down to the kids that he left behind, family, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For but, sure. But still, like, damn, why wouldn't y'all support this nigga when he was actively out here right. working? Right. That shit wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I can't say that I, I'm, I was against the message he was coming back out with. For sure, I get it, but I can't say that that shit was just had everybody back listening to Rich Homie Quan. Like mm-hmm. you said, you was out of all six, of, well, five of us in here, you was the only one listening to that new yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Mm-hmm. So we can't. I thought I just found it ironic how he decided to come back and have this last run once dude got locked up. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, the pressure was on his ass when he was free. Yeah, I wanted to ask a question that that kind of comes back to that is to um, what happened with his sound? Why did he and why did he exactly fall off as soon as he got away from Rich Gang? Like you just stopped hearing about bro unless you was a devote fan looking for his music. Because his life was in danger. From the outside looking <laughs> in, if you're not really tuned in, what was going on in Atlanta? You would think that. It was just like he he just fell back, fell behind. He was but the person for his life? that no, the person that was managing him, okay, is the nigga that uh, Woody allegedly killed the mm-hmm. the nut nigga mm-hmm. that the ah, from from YFN. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. okay, I do remember he that, that. um he supposedly killed him, yeah. and this shit happened while Rich <laughs> Gang was still on tour. So why Young Thug and Rich Homie is out together like doing their tag okay. team shit? It's some real smoke going on between their teams back in Atlanta that 
it ain't never really that's one thing about Atlanta that I get them credit for. A lot of that shit that's going on in Atlanta, it stay in Atlanta like it's in Vegas. You gotcha. feel me? Gotcha. Like a lot of that yeah. shit don't really reach the masses until well, half look, that shit done died look how they down. Or, play. Yeah. Crazy. On that. Um I'm trying to think. Rich homie, rich homie, rich homie. Damn, it was something that I wanted to bring up that was along the basis of what we talking about right now. Man. But I just hated that rich homie slowed down, period. Yeah. Like, if anything, I would have just got the fuck away from them niggas and kept working because it feel like Young Thug literally took the inner. Because when they got together, rich homie was the nigga. He was. He, sure. was. he sure. was big dog. You feel For me? For sure. For sure. And then they did the rich gang shit. Young Thug started to go up. Mm-hmm. And instead of uh, rich homie continued doing what he needed to to stay where he was at, he just fell back. You know what I was thinking to myself, and I was like, "Where have I seen something like this?" The before? Mud Bros. Oh, I was thinking on a, a energy transfer. Heard that, uh, but I also saw that with Lil Wayne and Joel Santana. Most definitely, because yeah, Joel man, Santana crazy. was supposed to. I don't get Joel's. He is the oddest story out of any rapper I've hey, ever sure. seen in my life. Off. That shit has to, to be studied. studied. Yeah, for sure. No cap. No cap. Because the two niggas that went to jail and came back not the same is Joel Santana and Shine. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking Schmerder about. Sta- too. Bobby Schmerder. Sm- styled it, yeah. <laughs> Gucci Man and Kodak Black, dude. No, nah, no. Nah, no, them nah, niggas nah, literally nah, came nah, back dude. different. Yeah. Like, Gucci Man might take the cake. Traces of the same DNA, but not really the same. You get <laughs> oh, what I'm man. saying? Yeah, These niggas go. clones. Hey, hit Allegedly. the button. <laughs> hit the button. <laughs> Allegedly. Going down man. the easy path. That clone tripping. I'm about to think that's about to be my motherfucking catchphrase, bro. I'm hey, before we go any further, man, one time for the queen. Straight shot, no chaser, Brandy Danielle. What's up, y'all? What's up? Yo, what up, though? How are you today? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You said what? I couldn't hear you. Right I was about to say all the they fans clapping, clapping like and shit. You know what I mean? My <laughs> bad. Don't just throw that at me, man. Just a little late. <laughs> Good job today. You know, they had a little pizza party for us, so I couldn't turn that down. And, and you ain't bring me no pizza. <laughs> you supposed to. I only got red sticks. I don't really ask for Papa John's like that. Yeah. You supposed to. Hey, that's crazy. We had Papa John's at my job, too, today. Yeah. Yeah, that's Y'all got to turn and, that shit down. Y'all got to be the angry <laughs> oh, black yeah. person to be like, hey, this shit, I'd rather well, have a pay raise. Oh, Why? Yeah. Why you say that? you. Huh? Why do you say that? Because that's the cheapest way they can goddamn get their way out of giving you some money. Oh, we just hit a record annually this quarter sales Mm. doing it. Uh, Pay me. Y'all making money while I can't make more money. Hold on, wait. Is that the reason they gave y'all pizza? Because they hit some type of quarterly? You know, you do know some jobs, they'll feed you and they'll give you money too, right? Yeah. (laughs) So, But but this ain't that. Did y'all get money with this pizza? Nah. How give you know me the money just, instead. How you know that they just give didn't want to the give money them? instead? What if there was no super bonus and they just wanted to treat their employees like people? Yeah, I'm about to say, and this and was actually morale you paid for that pizza, <laughs> break that shit into this really a lump gonna, sum this really and give it to So you want seventeen dollars? Fuck it, man. Over, over three slices of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> over three slices <laughs> of pizza. <laughs> this really gonna blow you right here. This One of the employees bought the pizza. Oh, see, now that's shocking. The job she's right there. Bugging. Your job they did. Yeah. Damn. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Jabbing right there. Nah, like, he's supervise, funny, bro. Yeah, hey, yeah. Cupcakes speak, and all. Yeah, one Speaking of my homies bought this. Yeah. I was in there. You know, I fill up the Loading shit. Up that the, bullshit. Oh, no, I was in there that's and I bad. met one of our number one fans, man. What's my man name? Let's give him a shout out right yeah, now. Yeah, Martyrs, man. Man, Martyrs, man. man. Shouts out, big dog. Yes, yeah, sir. I told you I had you, bro. I told you I was going to shout you out, man. He showed us big love when I was in there. That's what's up. That's what's up. Real talk. Real shit. We watch the show every week, man. Hey, we Shout really appreciate you. So, Brandy, what you thought? What did you think about when you heard about Rich Homie and what was going on, man? Uh, I was kind of heard about it. I ain't gonna lie because shoot, I've been was saying like probably about a couple months ago, talk to somebody like, damn man, that was a fucking error that we had with Rich Homie Quan. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, he need to come back. I wish he had just dropped something, especially now he Thug did. in jail. He dropped did. something. He did, but especially it didn't get now because Thug just, was in jail. He definitely, you did. know, but. Yeah, that kind of hurt me. Like, damn. And now I feel like uh, it's too late for some of y'all to be trying to get him some fake flowers. 
the industry people, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all, y'all didn't reach out to him or nothing when he was alive. So mm-hmm. now, you know, all this. A all feature this. or something. Shit. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah, he was they, literally blackballed for real. Yeah, mm-hmm. They faking because when Rich Homie died, it made me feel some type, type of way. Hey, mm-hmm. Some type of way. Made me feel some mm-hmm. type of way. Don't look shit. like that. <laughs> Crazy. That right, too. Don't cry you, like Lord. that. Mm-hmm. Young Thug got that nigga canceled before he even got him. Rich homie Quan almost got me beat up by a man in in a club one day. Whoa, Whoa. That sounds crazy. Oh God, Let's at the palms, it. at the palms. Uh, so yeah. we standing by the DJ nigga. at the DJ booth. Shout out to DJ Swift because he uh played my song that Shout night. Shout out my nigga Swift. So we at the DJ booth. That motherfucker get the fuck out my face. Mm-hmm. I kind of thought that I didn't know <laughs> if the dude was gonna try to talk to me or Jamie. I'm like, but you know, fuck that girl. We we jam. Please get the fuck out my face. <laughs> Please. I said someone tell him. I, but I wasn't pointing at him for real. I was just singing the lyrics. Then he, he just said, the fuck my he face. said, you talking about me? You referring to me? I said, it's a song, sir. I said, I never. I didn't like that song that either, man. I, was, I fuck with that shit. I did not like that song. Please get the fuck out my motherfucking face. Get the fuck out of my face. Hey, thug was. I was like, man, who the fuck is your thug? Get the fuck out of my motherfucking face. I ain't well, like thug until around. later. I was about to say, yeah. it's yeah. a lifestyle yeah. type yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Even after that, I was about to say, I really, it took I a while for me to him. appreciate Young Thug. But I when I read fucking with Young Thug, when, when I started trying to with Gucci Man, when yeah. I started listening to him, yeah. I was like, all right, hold on. He tried to talk some shit on this. Hercules. Remember that Hercules? That shit had me turned. I did that beat and everything. Hustles don't stop. Thank you, God. I didn't understand him for a minute. That was my thing. Yeah. When I started listening to his music, Music more like his voice is an instrument more yeah, than anything. Yeah. Started, yeah. I'm like, this motherfucker, he different. I'm like, different, this motherfucker <laughs> different. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> I had to hear it again. I'm That's on top what... of the mountains puffing up. Okay, okay, yeah. I got it. Got hey. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like you, Nino. Yeah, was dude was crazy, Cause hey, first time you hear lifestyle, you double number number the number number the baby. My shit like, was, but it was still hard. <laughs> it was that hard. Beat was that rich gang that beat freestyle. Beat to take it away. The rich gang freestyle was my shit. Nah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that tape mm-hmm. was really was that tape was special, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, rest in peace, rich homie. That's messed up. Oh, can I just say this though? Y'all know I'm. I'm saying I could be a conspiracy person. Uh oh. Yep. Come on with it. I'm with Beast you. He probably said it already. Uh-oh. It's mighty funny. He just got mentioned again in the trial by Woody and the, the prosecutor. Mm-hmm. And then this happened. Ain't that something? Dang. They said the brother found him first mm-hmm. with food in his mouth on the floor. Yep. They put mm-hmm. him back on the couch. And then the the baby mama found him hours later. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Cause that butt dog can't get snake by my homie. They paid that man to, uh, got snake by the What'd you Brody. Do hey. what, what'd you do? What, man, what? What'd you do? What'd you do? Mm, hey. mm, mm, Allegedly. 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 I'm going to say it's crazy when you, when you just, le- you ain't, you left nothing to do, but you know what I'm saying? Just use your imagination about some shit, you know? It yeah. just, it'll take you in so many different directions. Like. Yeah. But the prosecutor asked Woody on the stand. Is it true that Thug told you that he was going to put a hit on Quan? What he said, he looked at Thug. He said, Thug, did oh, you Oh, no, you did you hit? tell me you... He said, Thug, did you put a hit on his homie? He said, quit talking to him, sir. Basically. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> well, yeah, if, regardless, man, condolences to yeah. his family. Rest sure. in peace to rich homie Quan. Sure. And free Thug. Yeah. <laughs> and, free, <laughs> and free the joke, hey, man. Sure, I like. Why that. not? <laughs> sure, and free the. Now, I miss that. That music <laughs> sure. is avoiding music. So let's get to some black excellence, man. Okay. Fifteen-year-old named Time, 2024 Kid of the Year, for his innovative bar of soap that treats skin cancer. Mm. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Let me see what they talking about. Soap that could in the future be a new and affordable treatment for skin cancer, including melanoma, I understand. Tell us about it. Pretty much the way that it works is it uses this drug called Imiquimod and it wraps it around these lipid-based nanoparticles. And so without getting too in-depth into all of the science behind it, uh, I guess the main point with this bar of soap is, like you said, it's a more affordable and accessible alternative to modern day skin cancer treatment. What prompted you? to research and develop a soap that could treat skin cancer? 
My main inspiration for creating skin cancer treating soap was really growing up in Ethiopia. I was born in Ethiopia and I saw so many people that were working really long hours under the hot sun. And of course, I didn't think that much of it at a really young age, but now that I've grown up and kind of realized the damages and the consequences of UV radiation for such long periods of time, mm -hmm. uh, I was really inspired to take action. The, a soap that could in the future. So listen, this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell them to do what they should have did to the man that learned how to fuel a car with water. Oh, wow. Had this nigga. Had him. Right now. Mm -hmm. Before the government kills him. Because mm -mm -mm. that's a lot of white money. Mm -mm. A more affordable soap that just happens to Big treat pharma. skin cancer? That's mm. a lot of white Big money. Big pharma? Can you think about how much money they're going to lose in the skin cancer yeah. field? They better hide him. And it's white I, money. A lot of white people usually I hate business. to tell you all this. He's 15 years old. They're going to probably find a way to dip him out of his money late. anyway. Yeah, it's too late. Already know. If he done made the world him. news, it's too late. Yeah, I'm going to say he on Times Magazine. But it's over. Shouts out to Buddy. He on Borrowed Time, That's an amazing too. thing. <laughs> and that's innovative, the fact that he thinks like that. But, hey, and it wasn't just one person that was making cars that did that. Like, they have killed, like, at least four or five people. That He's that smart guy. I think it's something like 10 now. That's the next wave of cars. Do, 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 do. Smart China. guy. Yeah. That little TJ. Smart and so they, guy. Can, they can <laughs> monopolize the production. <laughs> Oh, how did they just mysteriously oh, die? No, no, I'm I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> nah, with I know. You. I'm just saying it's even further. Apart. Yeah, they already done got rid of everybody and mm. came up with their own. Exactly. Shit. That's what that I'm saying. They ain't even come up with their own shit. They just took the motherfucker well, yeah, that yeah, they right. killed. They've been doing shit. that shit for centuries. He said it's their own. He did some mm. shit supposedly. Yeah, exactly. What he say? I don't care if you tie a bow tie around that motherfucker and call it blue dog <laughs> shit. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of dog shit, you got that money on. Hell nah. Oh, what? Um, I was gonna say, can we talk about that dog shit they were serving the boar head shit? Mm. Mm. Did y'all hear about it? Yeah, man. That, yeah. Hey, that Listeria, Listeria. Field, uh meat they selling shaky. off up in there. Hey, Hold on. Shaky. Hold on. Here we go. Hey. Good morning, Geo. Yeah, shaky. this is now the largest outbreak of its kind in the U.S. in more than a decade, and the death toll keeps climbing. And a nationwide Listeria outbreak that is linked to that boar's head deli meat. At least nine people, as you mentioned, have now died, with cases reported in 18 states. 57 people have now been hospitalized. Seven million pounds have been recovered. Called. And the CDC is warning customers that they may still have that ma tainted meat in their fridge because of the long shelf life for certain products like bacon and salami. That means some recall meats have best buy dates through October. They have not expired yet. Boars had released a statement earlier this month saying we are conducting a rigorous investigation to identify the root cause of this incident. And the company has said safety is their absolute priority. But guys, that was weeks ago. And they haven't released any information on the investigation since. And we now know at least one family is now filing a wrongful death lawsuit. Mm. Wait. Hey, I seen that shit still in some stores. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, they already they cleared it out and restocked it already. Right. Mm. I'll I'll fuck that. My least favorite part about this is when I do an Instacart order. It prints out like a three-page receipt now because all the yeah facts talking about recall, yeah. recall. Yeah. Great. Take a picture. <laughs> Damn, for real? Yeah, that's that, what I was gonna like say. Recall this, notice. That, recall notice. That's recall not the notice. only place having be, like everything mm. is being recalled. And I'm talking about it's like uh, just different shit from they got. They said this fecal matter <laughs> matter in the Patron. No, the Don Julio. The Don Julio Patron oh, and a few other liquors. Too. I ain't see too. Patron on the list. Uh, fecal matter. Fecal. Fecal. Yeah. Do do. Do do. I know. Yeah. They say Don Julio really smell like boo boo boo. Y'all got that shit on y'all yeah. damn head looking Dun. like <laughs> shit. Dun. 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 On your Dun. head. Dun. 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 Damn, bro. Why are you tell me that? That's that crazy meat. work, ain't it? And I need you to pull Man, that up because I because I need yeah, to see Patron you know on the you list. Know how, bro, I literally held a bottle in the light and be seeing little shit floating oh, in there. Man, like, stop that! But you know, I'm like, I've seen, hey, I've said, I said it. Get the chaser, babe. Hey, <laughs> you black Jesus, you can just pray Real over. Talk, get the bro. chaser. You, say you can just pray over it. <laughs> like, I swear to God, though, no, bro. Y'all hey, ain't never seen shit floating in your bottle. Shit. See, people after be dirty about, niggas the put their lips on Bruh, it. I'm yeah, that's the cork. That shit, the cork be doing that. Okay, now, that's man. what I used to think. Now he done 
said the court. That's the court break. Oh, I need man. to see because I seen that, but I ain't see Patron. I seen <clears throat> Don Julio and some more other shit. That's but far as enough. that meat, I don't care. That's why my cheap ass buy uh, Kroger's deli meat. That's Ladies, like, quit letting these niggas come up in your row before you get some of that tainted meat. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> 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 you said tainted meat. I said I can't wait to use that in a sentence. Tainted oh, meat. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that was that episode in Walking Dead. Tainted meat. Mm-mm. That's the name of the episode. Damn near. What this? <laughs> tainted hey. meat. Yep. Tainted meat. <laughs> man, I'm sorry. Man, Walking Dead was that show, man. It was. Yeah, it was. That's how it started. Some some boar's head lunch meat going <laughs> around, <laughs> turn niggas into zombies. Mm-hmm. You ain't see that on like before, thriller. before, before The Walking Dead? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, no. What did it say? No. Alcohol see, recall. That's, not, that's just somebody parents. posting it on social media. It's, I need to see. You know, this, he said, this is a word of mouth that's town. It's <laughs> 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 a word of mouth town. <laughs> yeah, this is a word of mouth. I need to watch that. Let movie. me see. Let me see. I want to see it. So. I bet it mm. got my liquor on there. Y'all know how they how the the word around the campfire is mm. the best pussy is pregnant pussy. That, that's Never what they say. Again. Did you know that you can get pregnant while you're pregnant? No Ooh. Did anybody man, know that? What the ain't no hell? source on that. Did anybody know that? I didn't, I didn't know, that. know that. So I didn't know that. It, this girl posted a video and it says, "I just had my baby girl four days ago and found out I'm four months." Pregnant. That is wow. Crazy. Let me play this Scary for y'all. Work. Wow. Can we gonna you get that pregnant? Out? Hey, yo. Wow. Pregnant. You most definitely can. So how does it happen? You see, most people think that when our cute little devils take up their involuntary incarceration inside the womb, then there isn't space for one more. Yes, this is what a real MRI of a fetus looks like, but that isn't quite accurate. In a similar way to how you can still get pregnant while taking the contraceptive pill or having the coil, your ovaries can release an egg during the pregnancy, which can become fertilized and implant in the womb. Usually the hormonal changes associated with pregnancy suppress this from happening, but if someone has irregular periods beforehand or hormonal imbalances, then this superfetation, as we call it in science, is more likely to occur. The only 100% way to stop pregnancy is to avoid the forage between the sheets. Did you know it was possible? That's like half a twin type shit. I don't know. That's crazy though. Like, we're kind of twins, but not really. Yeah, you know. (coughs) That's the definition of hood twins. (laughs) <laughs> Damn! It's a strange. What if the rare, fathers are different? What if it's a different father? Ooh, hey, yeah. I'm, you beat me to it. I was just thinking, like, what if you switch? What? Partners? Man, yeah, I'll never hit a pregnant chick thinking that shit's safe again. Ever. Oh my <laughs> god! You, oh man! Oh, man. I feel like that's a sacred thing, man. You said it's a lie. Breaking off other niggas' pregnant baby mamas. Is you ain't never did that. Work. I ain't saying I never did it. But like, I'm saying don't say it's wild <laughs> work and you've done wild work. After, yeah. don't, be hit, no. don't be hypocritical <laughs> and judgmental. What it, I can do that because I've been there and I was like, yeah, this wasn't it. I feel like the biggest piece of shit. <laughs> <For real. laughs> yeah, yeah. How many times did you do it? <laughs> Once. Uh, you, you got one time to make me morally feel uh, like a piece man. of shit when I enjoy that as much as I do. And it's like, what was yeah, you doing? I don't think I can yeah, get what into What you doing? You was fucking missionary? What? No. Yeah, you got to turn around and bend I, over so I, I can't that see the belly. Way. God, that's damn. what I'm saying. But even then, it just was like, I don't know. Nah, because I'd be like, yeah, this ain't this morally ain't right. Can you yeah, turn around? You know? <laughs> 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 turn around, please. Said, I, I can't, can't see me doing this. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Your, your baby <laughs> just kicked and shit. Turn around, man. Oh, see the motherfucker go like this, crash his stomach. Ah, my mom. Hey, little Ray Ray on bullshit. Turn around. <laughs> not the daddy. Not the daddy. Not the daddy. You got one time to make me feel morally like I ain't shit. Yeah. I now I feel you. Mm-mm-mm. For sure. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, I wouldn't do it as a woman. But y'all would act like the baby be seeing y'all d- dingling and shit. But, they but look, the check this out. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> Just imagine when you having that baby and you know it deep down in your heart, this is the last time you want to have a baby. Like, I don't want to do this again. And then after the baby come out, the doctor be like, we've we've had a discovery. Oh, 
she's four months. But just imagine if she like four months pregnant with twins or some shit. I would like, be pissed. Cause the first the thing fuck? I thought about after giving birth was I need a motherfucking blunt and somebody bring me a bottle of Grey Goose. I'll be pissed. Like I gotta go, go through a, some more months of this shit. Mm. So just out of curiosity, the people with kids, do y'all want or would y'all care about having another kid? I'm cool on that shit. Yeah, I'm straight. I don't think nobody want no surprise, baby. No, no, for sure. No, yeah, I'm not even I mean, talking about like, surprise. I just want to know if people would be even if no. open to having another kid. Yeah. Well, Why? It's going to have to be a surprise, baby, for me, because I'm cool on that <laughs> shit. What makes you cool on it, though? I'm not starting all the way over. I just Ooh. got done. I just got done with uh, fucking diapers and shit. Yeah. Mm. I, just, I just bought my last pack of pull-ups. That's yeah. my going back to the gym. Hold on. Hold on. Hey. Hey, you feel me? Hey. <laughs> my nigga, my little nigga, he wake up in the middle of the night and pee now. Like, it's like that. When he don't even have oh, accidents shout in the bed. Like, shout out to yeah. my to nephew, man. Like, That's hell good. yeah. That's dope, yeah. Why would I do that shit again? FDK. Fuck them kids. Everybody yeah. yeah, for sure. That's like hitting the reset button. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at the point where my oldest can watch my youngest and we... Yeah. Skedaddle, see? I ain't it's talking so about just like go downtown to go get something to eat. I'm talking about like get on the highway. Get up out of here. It's been so long for me. That's how my baby said it. I put the baby's diaper on backwards. Are you for oh, real? Yeah, I'm oh, God. It say back on it. The- and then I... <laughs> <laughs> she just quit giving a fuck. I didn't know how to strap her in the damn uh, seat belt. Like, it's too much shit going on. Look, I'm about Did to the mama put know? like this. Yeah. Oh, okay. She just seen how I brought her home. Come in. Uh, you said that like they were going to hear you. Right. <laughs> Come in. Who is it? Just open the door at this point. They done already knocked. <laughs> oh, that money. <laughs> I'm weak. Well, hello, motherfucker. <laughs> Wanna see how I brought her home? Wanna see how I brought her home, Nino? Huh? Wanna see how I brought her home? Because I ain't not do the uh, car seat. Oh, you going to jail. Uh, uh, you going uh, to jail, bro. Quit showing people that. Uh, 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 <laughs> That's at her mama's house. Her mama laughed. You incriminate her yourself. Her mama laughed. Oh, mama y'all, laughed. Bo- y'all uh, both. You going to jail now? What kind of god mom are you? You going? Hey, and laughed secure. at it. Lord, <laughs> Lord, have mercy. So listen, it says, woman says she filed for divorce 30 days after her husband <clears throat> got fired and took her chance with one of his friends. He ain't no friend. He came home and he was like, you know, babe, I lost my job. I'm like, all right, cool. So a month later, like the bills, it was time for the bills or whatever, you know. And I'm like, you know, the bills do, babe, or whatever. And he was like, okay, you know, I'm not working. And and I'm just in a month, like it's all kind of hustle. You could have been doing something or whatever. So I told him, I said, look, if I pay these bills, are you gonna pay me the money back? This man had the nerve to tell me. Why should I pay my wife back for, for paying our bills? I told this man from day one, my money is my money. And his money is our money. Why should I spend my money paying the bills? Like, no, he should have paid me back. So that's when I decided, like, I can't be with this man no more. So I had texted his homeboy. Like, we all cool. I texted his homeboy or whatever. You know, we went together. We, we got, we left. We, I met up with him. And we was, you know, we was chill, we was chilling, we was drinking or whatever. And I started venting. I started venting, you know, like I started getting emotional. One thing led to the next. I did not purposely mean to do what I did with his friends. But things happened. Things happened. Like, y'all understand what I was going through. So, you know, his friend ended up doing something. We talked about this shit two episodes ago. I told mm-hmm. you how motherfuckers be feeling. Your cash is my cash and my cash is... My cash. Mm-hmm. This uh, you dirty and nappy you head. Hey, kiss my ass. This is mm. how we see bitches getting killed with side niggas. Mm-hmm. This is shit because of shit like that. This nigga mm. said you nappy head. <laughs> you a stupid. Hey, nigga. and then I this, can smell your mm. nappy pussy. Before, <laughs> 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 and before, before I even played the this nigga said, "Man, that nigga ain't no friend." <laughs> hey, no cap. <laughs> For real though, like. These Real shit is though. killing over the love of their life. Yeah, and then, that's they, and then up. they go do some shit like that and sound like that over some my money is your money. Man, bitches, you stupid. Bro, I just never been the nigga 
to want to run behind my niggas. Yeah, that part. Like, at all. Like, what if it's kids, kids involved? You going to hit your little nephew, mama? If she bad, bro. if I think she bad and then you end up bagging her, it's over with. Oh, mm -hmm. She's off limits. Out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Type shit. You feel me? I just sure. I don't know. It's just something about looking at somebody that you feel me you my dog but now i'm looking at the person that you chose to be with dog like, yeah. like she's an appetizer <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, i feel like the friend is dumb because nigga if she left your friend because of that what you think she'll do to you how you right. get them is how you lose them right mm -hmm. don't end up in jail she really leaving your ass like but as far as with her well, i'm telling you karma is a bitch hey you don't get away with shit like that. Mm -hmm. Ludacris had a, mm -hmm. uh, a song that song. That bitch up. gonna end up by herself. And use a hoe. <laughs> oh, use a hoe. Like, mm -hmm. that's some homie hopping, gold digging shit. Like, she gonna, hey, she gonna end up uh, by herself, broke as fuck with a crazy, unforgivable STD. Mm. Saying if not, shit. If not that, then she gonna have one of them rich ass niggas that beat her ass. That, and that, no, that's gonna be involved with what she got from the uh. nigga. She ain't Ugh. never seen that movie that um that came out when no girl was cheating with, with that rich nigga, and then at the end of the movie she had that shit you couldn't get rid of. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Had the Magic Johnson. You see, I just uh -huh. shared that shit. Hey, nah, I didn't. Look, the same on, movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, funny as fuck, right? They was on the internet. You know how people be making them one little memes. Shit. Yeah, the let's one be memes like deep. Like, let's uh, let's get rich and travel like them. Yeah, ain't that what it say? Yeah, Hold type up. shit. It's right here. Oh, yeah, need somebody to run it up with and travel with this winter. Boy, mm -hmm. they got AIDS. What yeah, for sure. About? For sure. <laughs> 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 Motherfuckers just sharing pictures. Hey, don't know what the fuck they This look about. like a bomb-ass couple. <laughs> oh, I know you've seen, you. that you seen that movie before, right, Brandy? Yeah, uh -huh. I know exactly what you're talking about. That nigga, he used to. She like, no, I'm, I'm at home watching. Yeah, get over here now. Get Don't wear no now, panties. Bitch. Click. Like, damn. Bitch. And she would go too. I'm excited. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You like Hopefully, old girl. I'm hoping, man. A lot of these brides and dudes is doing this just to make they making up stories just to go viral. Cause, honey, why would you tell that? Yeah, the fact that she mm -hmm. was comfortable telling that is just like. Who raised you? You know you're going to get backlash. This, this so. And then one last thing before we move on. Like, we got to talk about Buddy. Like, you got to be a simp-ass nigga to, think, to even crawl in bed with a bitch with that mindset. Like, I feel like you mm -hmm. paid her damn near before you could get in the bed. <laughs> you said you heard her say that? I didn't know what she was like. You heard mm -hmm. her say that? Yeah, she, she gave did. me some money or whatever. We know you prostituted yourself to get them bills paid. Yeah. And you didn't feel bad about it because you was drinking and going you through. About to go some shit. One yeah. thing led yeah, to Yeah, you another. was going through some shit. And that's niggas. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't mean to do that. Bitch, She's a runner. Please. She's a track star. One thing led to another. She gon' run away when it gets hard, bitch. <laughs> mm -mm. All right, <laughs> Listen, I think I think this nigga is gonna be our womp womp of the day. Oh shit! Pastor Keon Henderson asked his church members to collectively donate four point four million dollars to help rebuild his church. Claims the Lord gave him that number. Mm. Oh, that we were gonna number. start over, and yet again, I believe God said, Keon, your faith was too small. So let me blow the building down so you can build what I put in your heart. God gave me a vision and he said, we can do it in 21 days. I'm asking 2,100 people to give $2,100 in the next 21 days. I'd ask 2,100 people to give $2,100. And the newspaper did the math and they said Pastor Henderson asked his 20,000 members for $4.4 million. Let me even make sure that that's what it equals because <laughs> I hadn't even done the math yet. Yeah, it's 4.4. <laughs> yeah. I hadn't done the math. It was what God had given me. What I forgot to do wow. that I'm going to do right now is remind myself that everybody doesn't have $2,100. And the Lord convicted me on that. And I went back and I prayed about it. And I want to apologize for not offering an opportunity for people who don't have it like that. Everybody doesn't have twenty one hundred dollars. The Lord said, but somebody has twenty one dollars. <laughs> and if you go back and read the article, they tell you that the building was twenty million dollars. So what does four million dollars do when you have a twenty million dollar problem? Then you pay it. 
who the fuck this nigga is? Noah building the ark. God told him that. <laughs> hey, yo. You <laughs> I'm about to be a pastor. Yeah, him doing that pimping. shit and then the other pastor uh, selling pieces of heaven for $100. And they ain't doing nothing but pimping. pimping. You got to have your game tight. He up there 21... $2,100 for Hey, Scrooge, I'm people. telling you. I didn't do get that. Into, get in your days. church bag, man. It's, mo yeah. it's money, money over to there, be made man. up there. <laughs> hey, it's money to be no, made. No, Scrooge going to be fucking to the congregation. Jeez. Hey, this nigga said. Yeah. got nothing to do with the mean, money. Uh. That nigga said, let me do the math on this, because I don't even know if that's really the... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's, that's it. Like, I don't have it. He's going to be like, you got it. You got $21. If you ain't got 2100 you got... Twenty. There's somebody out there with twenty one dollars. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. What'd you say? He said, "I just asked the broke people for less." Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked if up. you got it, give it. At this point, goddamn. Mm -hmm. We're lying on God. Black Jesus. Did God tell him that? He sure did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't catch wind of it. <laughs> See, that, that didn't filter through me. Hey, so, <laughs> so I'm usually the middleman. <laughs> my, daddy did not tell him that. my daddy did not tell him that. Yeah, that ain't on the list, fam. That, that didn't come through the dispatch. <laughs> no. Um, we... Hey, Pops, the fuck is for you? <laughs> Let me check my scroll. Daddy lying on you. That nigga said it. That's the scroll. Let me check my scroll. That nigga said it. You sure <laughs> different. Oh, my father did not say that. <laughs> here's one thing I want to say before we leave this topic. How many people you think would want to be pastors and preachers if you could no longer ask for money? Mm. Good one. Mm. Had to pay no, taxes hey, no, in no. the church. Message. No, no. Oh, church tax-free money game? Yeah. You, didn't you, didn't you didn't know that? They are the biggest tax That's the uh, non-profit tax organization, oh, brother. Hey, this my nigga. Smiling. Hey, when I PPP know, was busting, non-profit My nigga got a $90,000 loan for his, for being a pastor and having a church. He ain't never stepped foot in church ever. I think all, a lot of pastors are from, they got out are of jail. Are you for real? Prison. Prison. serious, bro. They just left, told me. Oh, fuck. It's his people. Missed it. Crazy. These niggas be taking all this time. Hey, I'm about to go get me way. a clergy degree. Uh, I'm about to start studying the Bible. You what? Right? They don't even study now. the fucking Bible. What's wrong with these niggas? They yeah, see, buy that's a house and turn it into a church. I'm, a, I'm one up on them. I've been reading. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real pastor. <laughs> Ask me anything. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd. I'm going to have my blue. You know what I'm going to have my, my AirPod <laughs> in with Chuck on the phone looking up all the shit they asking me like, in real on, time. Man. That's in Corinthians. Like, hold on. Let me let me get the... Let me get a fact check from Jesus. <laughs> what you say, Jesus? <laughs> I'm weak. God said, the Lord will not tell me a lie. <laughs> Corinthians 5. It and is I, not a sin in sin, sin. I see you, Beez. I, I know you don't have $2,100, but I know you got $21. 21. <laughs> now, let me just get $2,100 of you Nino, don't to have give me 21 Don't have the choir rap, 21, 21. rapping gospel. I ain't gonna lie. You got to oh, have, it, you got to have that good organ. organ. With you too while you talking. Oh yeah, they gonna be rapping <laughs> gospel on the track. You gotta, I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to, I'm about to Jesusify all my music. <laughs> hey, you know South Park did an episode like this. Ooh, yeah, it's the Bible. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, Yago, you, you gonna have a, you, you fucking with me? You ain't even Ooh, gotta do that. You just, yeah, I it's the Christ work. Hey, they gonna like that. I'm hey, telling you, I ain't no, going to hell with you. They gonna be that one fucking like. The devil going down. We up in here doing light work. Woo! Oh, yeah. Y'all going down. There you go. It's going God's down. Amazing. Hey, y'all going to be on right tour there. with uh, Kirk Franklin yep. and everybody. <laughs> and <laughs> and, the and, the and what's they got in the Sunday service choir? <laughs> yeah, right type shit. I never knew that, though. That's crazy work. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? You see dude on, uh, on the shot getting rich with Papa. He getting Papa rich. Why, why, why Nino can't have a new house? Why, why, why Nino can't have a good car? It don't ask. Cadillac. No questions. <laughs> Hit the lock on that one. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't go past the pot. Y'all can't even pass afford a Movado. Why can't Nino have a Movado? Oh, damn. Hey, Movado. I forgot all about the Movado. Yeah, the Movado. Damn. <laughs> Bruh. Hey. We got to bring that back. Yeah, that was yeah, probably yeah. the funniest shit in the world. All right, so <laughs> we know that uh, I ain't gonna lie. The funniest rap beef right now that's really not a rap beef is Rallo 
and Boosie, man. Do you oh, see yeah. these niggas still responding to each other? Mm-hmm. Yep, that shit wack. That is why You got my number man You called me man Yeah Cause it just seemed like Man That's what Boosie said right That's what I said You got my number You can call me man Just kiss and make Listen You think you just gonna go up on me While I'm in prison Can't fight for myself And when I get out I wasn't gonna say shit Man, you crazy as hell. You got to give me a fade or something. Damn. And I and I ain't talking about that motherfucking haircut. Ooh. You let niggas <laughs> pull up and turn you against me. But when I try to pull up and show you my part, you dodging me? Like, what the hell part of the game is that, bruh? <laughs> Y'all niggas be blowing me with this lame-ass shit. I swear. I swear. This ain't about who can rap the best or who the most gangster. My people just want to get to the bottom of this shit. If a nigga around you and they ain't telling you to do the right thing, then you need to kick them off and from around you. I'm going to delete everything I said off my page for the people, but that conversation is needed, fam. And he said, nigga, I don't have your number. (laughs) Not to mention, I can't call you, so don't don't get on social media and say, nigga, call me. Right. Fam, go. What's going on with Torrance Boosie Hatchet? See, the only thing that don't make it petty teen is they talking about paperwork. Yeah. And my whole thing is if that nigga's willing to show you the sealed paperwork, like he showed it. I got all my paperwork, nigga, the shit that's sealed and everything. You can see all this shit. Mm -hmm. Boosie just kind of look crazy now avoiding him. Yeah. You know why, though? Because Boosie don't want to have to walk back what he said about him. This this, This ain't the first time Boosie done... Dun, dun, you know what I'm saying? Said some shit he wasn't supposed to say. Nigga, remember him and T.I.? Nigga, do you remember do when Boosie was our most talked about person? Yeah. For a Black long had him going yeah. up. And we Pandemic talked about Boosie, Boosie was every Boosie. week. <laughs> it's Boosie update. That's, that's what I call it. Every segment we talk <laughs> yep. about Boosie. Boosie update. Yeah, man. <laughs> Boosie <laughs> update. <laughs> for sure. Um, I miss him and Tori in the pandemic. Them day. niggas. Man. They was really going up. Hey, I'm glad you brought my nigga up, mm. man. I really am. Them Dang. niggas saved uh-huh. us on Instagram through the hey. pandemic. I couldn't to see a Tory Lanez. Like Bruh. That. So. And oh, yeah. I ain't going to lie. You talking about uh, quarantine radio? Yeah. yeah. That yes, nigga used bro. to have shit rocking. Hey. That is. Bruh, no put your pussy cap. lips on live right now. I get $1,000. That shit. Hey, <laughs> epic, bro. Like, just epic. Where is that? Uh-oh. No, if it ain't, I know where to find it. Because I had to bring that up. because. pandemic. Like, I am outside still. I ain't going inside. But shoot, we right. Because you remember my twin, she asked me, how is this nigga in there yeah. making music? Tory Lane's prison cell raided following prison tape success. Brandy, you had something to do with that, did you? The, yeah. Hey, you, hey, I emailed Rock Nation. Motherfucker. You know some bullshit. It says, um, these last two months have been extremely good for Tory Lane's and his fans. Well, in the case of the Canadian rapper about... As solid as they will probably be, the incarcerated MC has been dropping multiple tracks per week thanks to his creative release schedule. Up until July 24th, the multi-talented had the multi-talent had been unleashing some old tracks throughout his career that never got to see the light of day at the time of their recording. They they were labeled the lost tapes. However, Tory decided to complete all of these songs into one playlist <coughs> known as the Free Tory playlist. But he also started releasing music called the prison tapes. That's whenever he was on there talking about some. I cracked the code. I figured it out. Mm-hmm. I learned how to. No, nigga, you got real studio equipment in your job. I thought he was smart enough just to come band lab with it. You see what I'm saying? But no, yeah. he got real he in there recording. Yeah. Now, how do you how do you keister that type shit into you the goddamn building? Listen, I keep I, last episode we talked about this. I'm gonna say the same thing I said then. If you could pay. To get cell phones and narcotics in prison, mm-hmm. you can how much do you think it would cost before you bring? <clears throat> they got their ways, man. A phone man, is this look. big, but as a security it's guard, nigga, you right walk right. in with a fucking mixing board, <laughs> some goddamn <laughs> microphone, some goddamn recording cable. All you got to need all that. Be all you need flag. is a microphone and a laptop. All you got to do and just cut you don't the even camera need the... for thirty seconds. You know what? You're absolutely right. You don't need right. the speakers. You don't need none and of that. You just need to be able to get some clean vocals. After the same my... niggas that made this, yeah. they got a small little audio Type thing yeah. you can Come plug on, directly. After my right. vocals, send it to bruh. After easy. my homeboy explained how. that shit down for me, Tuck. After my homeboy explained how, how easy it is for them niggas to get a tattoo done. Like, this nigga had a whole piece. I'm like, you got it done at the, the whole time? He said, yeah. It was like, shoot, go in the shower. 
He said, they can't stop us from going in the shower. You turn on that motherfucker shower head so they can't hear that in. It, I'm like, well, shit. And so I can see it being easy for Tori. Shit, my nigga, my nigga used to do tattoos right there in his goddamn it. For real? He had a, he had a paid yeah. lookout. Mm. Oh, that's what's up. Shout out to my brother, B. A.E.? Shout out to my brother, B. <laughs> my brother, B. Jail artist, man. He cold. Damn, Tori. Canada. Y'all just keep <laughs> fucking me over musically. Y'all done took Rich Homie. Now y'all done stopped my boy from creating classic records. Brandy. Yeah, you ain't had to. We won, Rock Nation. That's crazy. Brandy White. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. See, yeah, yeah. That nigga got equipment, see? Yeah. You think you're bad. <laughs> 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 ain't on me. <laughs> you think you're bad. So y'all know how uh, we can use AI for anything? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. This nigga Yago showed me some shit that you could do that'll literally do anything you could think of. It can make it for you. <clears throat> mm-hmm. This shit is getting so advanced. Um, I don't even know if we could call it artificial intelligence at this point. We just call it like cyber intelligence or some shit. Like actual it says, intelligence. Godfrey Hinton. We don't know how AI actually works, and I'm guessing this is the create. Well, not guess. This is the creator of AI. Listen to this shit. This shit crazy. Very good idea of sort of roughly what it's doing. But as soon as it gets really complicated, we don't actually know Come on, spit it out. what's going on any more than we know what's going on in your brain. What do you mean we don't know exactly how it works? It was designed by people. No, it wasn't. What we did was we designed the learning algorithm. That's a bit like designing the principle of evolution. But when this learning algorithm then interacts with data, it produces complicated neural networks that are good at doing things, but we don't really understand exactly how they do those things. It's all magic. No, it's called stealing alien technology and not knowing exactly what the <laughs> capabilities are, and you know you done fucked up, right? Mm-hmm. These motherfucking computers is about to just start standing up and start killing people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like on some uh, Ultron shit. I, I mean... Robot. Type shit. What's that? Mm-hmm. What's that yeah. uh, DC show that used to Legends of um, Legends of Tomorrow? Yeah. Have you ever yeah. seen that? It used to come on the CW. It was a <clears> DC <throat> show, and they they um, spaceship was actual like an artificial intelligence, and that motherfucker it would never stop learning. Hmm. Yeah, see, type shit. That's crazy. It's hey, like when like when Ultron first uh when Ultron first knocked out motherfucking uh. Jarvis, yeah, shit like that, man. Listen, disconnect us for the internet. All I'm saying is, they take that it from us. Every movie about artificial intelligence, it reaches a certain point where it decides that humans are the biggest threat to planet Earth, and then it takes us out. We go to war with actual shit AI that we create, mm-hmm. exactly, or steal from aliens. Every movie we borrow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's it's damn near like a cautionary tale that we just not listening to. Like, oh, I just need that new iPhone. Hey, that and zombie and the zombie shit. Oh my lord! Why well, I feel like the 15 just came out like four months ago. It's when weird. did it come out? Now they, they, they talking about one same time every year. But that now they talking about what the 16 can do, and I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Why are they talking about a PS5 Pro? <laughs> What's the the difference? For seven hundred, it's got way bigger memory for starters. But yeah, whatever. Belong yeah, there you go. You got artificial that. intelligence in it too. Yeah, AI helps you run it. Like you could just be like, "Hey, Sony, no, thank you. Run Madden. I want all that shit in house. No, not up in my house. Mm-hmm. Hell no. Nah. Said, "Bitch, ah, I don't you need said, it." Oh, I'm <laughs> what you say not in your house? <clears throat> no. What you say not in your house? About? I don't want all that shit up in my damn house. It's already there. I believe it, but shoot. Add more extra. I mean, up in there talking shit about Trump, and they're going to come and get me. Hear me in the damn house. Yeah, I no, think they're he just going to send you reels and shit. I'm fucking start these. That's all they're doing. They're just going to hey, target listen. you as with a, all their it, it, ads and everything. As a man who don't they care who win, you. after seeing that debate last night that. between the two, like, Already. oh, yeah. You could tell who Please. went to school and who didn't. <laughs> like, it really looked like that. Like, it was belt to ass. <laughs> 
And then that's what I said. Like he was getting done so wrong, he just started. Ah, oh, Springfield, the immigrants are eating the pets. Like it's crazy. Shout out what? to Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald the, Trump Springfield, bro. Ohio, oh, made the Jesus. debate. You ain't he that. done put the Chinese people on blast out in Springfield. It's, 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 it's supposedly Haitian. Haitian. It ain't supposedly, but listen, that's they're not cool. eating cats and dogs, but they definitely was catching geese at the park. I need. Have, is there any videos of this? Yes. yes. I need to see. It's, it's in, I, I, I got you. I got you. Nah, that's hey. So listen, I want you to know they tried to fact check it during the debate. Said Donald Trump was lying, <laughs> which technically Duh. he was because it wasn't <laughs> cats and dogs. But he wasn't too far off. Like they listen. These Haitians can't drive. Like they got they got videos of on TikTok. Dude done flipped his whole goddamn car, <laughs> and he like, hey man, did you do this? He like. You're like, bro, you're the only one out here, bro. What are you talking about? Dude, trying to take off running. He runs him down like, now nah, you got to wait till the police get here, bro. You could have hurt somebody. Like, these, hey, I don't. You better quit playing hey, for that. Oh, put no. that Mojo Jojo on your ass. Where, where, where do I got to look to find that video? Because I need Man, to see that right now. The Springfield City Commissioner said that it's not Because I was in Springfield last true. night, and that shit was dead as fuck. What time? Even the, 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 the city commissioner That's said it's not. Springfield is fuck. always why, dead why as fuck. I was just about to say, why would Haitians be out in the middle of the night? Hold on, but... Shit, you saying they flipping over cars and stealing geese? They don't give... Stealing <laughs> geese is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> stealing <laughs> geese, though. I ain't gonna lie, I had to do an Instacart in Springfield. Hey, look, look, it on New Center 7. They the one who ran the piece on it. Have this you ever had duck It's a literal Haitian yeah, with that geese in his fire. hand. I think I have. Well, you know you know that Haitians eating pets is a stereotype that was started in Miami in the 80s. Listen. He's just pulling up. I don't up, believe it. It's the memberries from South Park. He's just pulling up shit that you heard 30, 40 years ago to get you, know, cool. get you ground up. Go to News Center 7, watch stage piece. It came out at 6. I just watched it before I came here, bro. They literally got a Haitian with dead geese by their neck in the middle of the Springfield Park. And busy. Mm. And busy. Chinese motherfuckers been stealing y'all motherfucking cats and dogs and feeding it to you at Dragon China. What's. <laughs> chicken fried rice? <laughs> <laughs> or chicken? <laughs> Not, you're not wrong. I'm just crab, I, ra crab ragu. All I'm saying Why is, they don't is never, that he was getting <laughs> smacked so bad hey, in a the debate. They don't never say the, the last letter. In the, has already like ten they minutes. They already recanted ten the minute. story. They ten minutes. Ten minutes. Crab ragu. Crab ragu wasn't even taken in Springfield, and they've already said that they oh, were sure. wrong. But about damn, listen, hey, news. Land them. Don't be. That's pushing. crazy. Talking about. Don't bring up Ohio, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that's what I'm saying though. So now it's even. Hey, but not what I what I was about to say was. I did an Instacart in Springfield, and it was a bunch of Haitians at that motherfucking Kroger stinking like a motherfucker. Uh -huh. And it was a bunch of Haitians right. at the, in the neighborhood that I took the food to. Mm. So I don't I don't know oh. about the eating animals part, but it is they a bunch of fucking oh, Haitians no, They in definitely tend to we sure. got people in one apartment. We got For Mexicans sure. and uh, Africans. It's like that on the here. It's like that on the east, east side. Yeah. And they taking all Boy. the black jobs. Hey. I'm talking about <laughs> 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 It's in there everywhere. <laughs> yeah, not for real. They, they everywhere. No, hey, no, 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 and no. they think they hard, too, on the east side. Bruh. Be there. Hey, what are you staring at, dude? They didn't, Over there by where I used to live uh -huh. at, it's a gang of them that used to be and packed in soccer. like... Packed in like a Volkswagen, like sardines. They used to pull up banging music and shit. Yeah, they yeah. over there. One on one. Hey, they over there adopting... Music. They over there adopting white kids and everything. <laughs> like, this is my brother, like... Uh, it ain't no one on one with uh, them. They got a right. family in that bitch. You better call yours. Mm -hmm. I'm not fighting yeah. Fufu get the lion. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Fufu get the lion. <laughs> so listen, in a, in an American Airlines and Delta Airline almost collide in Syracuse, New York, after air traffic control gave both planes the right. I'm sorry, they gave both planes the right away to the same runway. It's legit dangerous to fly nowadays. Mm -hmm. it's legit dangerous. He said, are you too st 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 stupid? <laughs> can I hear no? Cam, this officer oh, okay, I'm sorry. into me, the sky. Let me run that back. Air traffic control cleared American Airlines Flight 5511 from Washington Reagan with 79 people on board to land at the Syracuse airport and then appears to clear a Delta flight for takeoff from the same runway. 6421, runway 28, clear for takeoff. Wait, who's cleared to take off on two way? The American pilots wait, wait, sounded the alarm. Blue Street 5511, Syracuse, go around. Go around, Blue Street 5511. 
As that American flight climbed to about 1,825 feet, preliminary flight data shows it was on the same course as Delta 5421 as it was taking off for New York's LaGuardia Airport with 80 people on board. At their closest point, they were separated by only about 725 feet of vertical distance, with the American Uh. regional jet appearing to pass directly over the climbing Delta plane. Two seconds later, they were about 625 feet apart vertically, but the Delta flight had started a right turn away from American 5511 and mm. potentially shocking. Two airliners appear to be... No, the one that was, oh. you the one, the uh, one that was one underneath. That was underneath. Okay, the they turn veered turn that way, yeah. <clears throat> um, and when you hear 725 feet, you probably think that's like a lot of distance, but if you no. use a GPS yeah. mm-hmm. and it'd be like... When you look at the GPS and you about to make a right turn, mm-hmm. it'll go Next from 725 to 750 feet. to 350 really quick. Mm-hmm. So it's not really that far spaced out between each other. When you're in yeah. the air, it's they almost, less space. Yeah. Yeah. You could drop 750 feet without even realizing it in a plane. Yeah. You're up in the air. Right. right. They almost killed all them people on, on a dumbass mistake. Mm. They said, hold on, wait. Who's re- who's yeah. Who got the green to, to take off? He knew it sounded rep? fucked up. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell no. Nah. He was the only one paying attention. Fact, if he wouldn't have said nothing, it would have been a real disaster. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, so, in the air. so, hey, Chuck, do me a favor, because I feel like a couple years ago I heard of something like this where they actually did crash or something, but like that just goes to show, like, I don't know, bro. They just hiring Talking anybody at collision. this point. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's just... Breaking Bad. I don't know if it's really happened. I don't that trust them did. planes ever since that one came up missing with all them people on. Out of Malaysian Airlines. Hey, man, I, it just got transported might into be cool for real. another universe. You mean that Bermuda Triangle type yep. shit? Yeah. <laughs> That's a portal. I ain't gonna lie to you. I believe. Mm. Me too. You're right. And in May of 2021 yeah. in Colorado. Like, they just letting anybody collision. direct traffic up there, bro. And That's mm. crazy to me. In 1977, there was one that 583 people died. God, that's a lot of people. How many? Yeah, 583 in the 70s. That's that the one Marshall was on. We are Marshall. It was two big passenger flights. No, that was only Mm -hmm. 75. I went to when two planes crashed into each other. Yeah, it's the deadliest plane crash. Shit. That's all That's three crazy. rows filled up on each plane. Ain't like, not for real. You know what I mean? Like, and uh, first class was packed. Yeah, all that. <laughs> That's crazy because I got a homeboy that's uh, training right now to be a pilot. And he has to do, I believe he said 200 hours. It's 200 hours uh, of training, which that equal up to like, I think he said about $200,000 or something like that. Yeah, it's right. expensive. And then after he gets 200 hours. He has to go through another part of the training through, you know, an airline or whatever. And then, yeah, that's when you'll be able to uh, be a pilot. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah, that's some shit. But But it's worth it, though. Being a pilot is one thing. Like, who the fuck's doing traffic air control? Because that's that's the name. Who 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 on the ground that just almost fucked up a lot Mm -hmm. of people's lives? I know he ain't got a job anymore. No, for sure. I know that ain't no shit. That ain't no simple mistake. Yeah, Yeah, they do. I can't mess that I, up. I damn near. What do you think the don't. drug test is like yeah. for air traffic control? I mean, probably they probably don't test for marijuana because you don't operate a vehicle. It's the jobs where you got to. I would effort. rather a I forklift think, driver yeah. be hired than my goddamn air traffic yeah, I'm about control. To say, they gonna check him. They gonna check him. <laughs> they gonna check him. What's that movie? Flight with Denzel. Yeah. You ever saw that? Fire. Yeah. Hey. I had seen that, that movie, movie before I ever flown a plane before. Yeah. I smoked a fat ass. Oh, you said plane. before you flown a plane. Before I ever flown on a plane before. Oh, ah, okay. Hmm. I ain't never done that. I don't think I'm going to ever be able to do that. I'm never just saying. Done that. But, Captain hey, bro, I was on the edge of my motherfucking seat. Like, oh, shit. And yeah. they, they made that real as fuck. Like, but he had know. messed up. You know what I'm saying? For like, sure. Uh, but he had landed. He had landed the plane perfect, considering the circumstances <laughs> yep. or whatever. But they were still on the They were still on oh, yeah. for being you drunk. What? Yeah. You was what? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That wouldn't even you wouldn't yeah. even had to do that if you wasn't drunk yeah, type, type, type shit. <laughs> Got on his ass. <laughs> let me see. This this is a long read, man. Here, let me. What is it? Which Lord, one? have mercy. I knocked it. It's over. the um. It says. Hold on. Let me go back to the finals. Final. It's about um locking up the kids. Oh, okay. Hold on. Ohio. Oh, Ohio yeah, shouldn't yeah, put yeah. kids under age 14 in prisons. 
Shit. They do some big boy crime. They need oh, to do some big over, boy crime. Let's read the topics first, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, to be an air traffic controller, you're not even allowed to be prescribed antidepressants or stimulants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't. They say you, so no yeah, you on the side effects you on or No drowsiness or nothing. No yeah. Boy. None of that. You shouldn't. So I guarantee they test you for, for weed and everything, probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just to... Make it easier for them to pick who's gonna do the job. I don't know. Mm-hmm. They said, "Boy, you better not have a ibuprofen in your they, system." They test you for putting on drugs. Like smoke, smoke some crack on the weekend and go right back because I don't got news break. It, it, it smoke, it, smoke crack on Saturday. Be right at work. Like, yeah, you clear for takeoff. Go ahead, you good. Oh, no, brother Beasy. Oh yeah, I'm ready to fly. Some- Y'all ready to fly some plays today, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> you just looked it like a head. That was the same type of smoke, too. Hey, hey you remember on, uh, Black uh, Wolf of Wall Street after they smoked that crack? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. It says Ohio should stop sending nonviolent first time offenders and children under the age 14 to the state's youth prisons and give juvenile court judges more discretion on how to handle kids caught with guns a new report says the juvenile justice working group headed by former youth prisons director tom stickrath issued the report with 26 recommendations to governor mike dewine on tuesday several recommendations will require lawmakers to act the recommendations come nine months after publication of an investigation by cincinnati inquirer columbus dispatch akron beacon journal Canton Repository and other publications in the U.S. Today Network, Ohio. The newspaper's investigation found incarcerated children face violence and neglect while guards remain overwhelmed, understaffed, and in fear for their own safety. Four in ten teens who leave the youth prisons end up returning to the youth system or entering Ohio's adult prisons. Ohio operates youth prisons in Circleville, Massillon, and Highland Hills for about 470 youths aged 12 to 21 found responsible for felony acts. Children aged 10 and 11 who are educated, delinquent, and are held in private facilities. Ohio Department of Youth Services Director Amy Ash said that... (laughs) 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 I'm sorry. I probably am not pronouncing that right. Said there are less than a dozen 12 and 13-year-old kids incarcerated in the youth prisons and about 34 children are being held on low-level offenses. Just weeks into the mission, the working group made an early recommendation that Ohio close its large youth prisons and replace them with smaller, closer-to-home facilities. Other states have moved in this direction, including California 2023. On Tuesday, the governor said the first of the three states youth prison to close is Cuyahoga Hills Juvenile Correctional Facility in Highland Hills. It will be replaced with four 36-bed facilities. Excuse me. Nearly $290 million in state capital money has al- already been approved. DeWine plans to work with lawmakers for capital money to ultimately close the other two youth prisons and build eight more smaller lockups for a total of 12. All right, we're going we gonna to stop right there. All right, Brandon. <clears throat> yes. I want you to lead this conversation. What do you think about that when you hear that? And what is your opinion on what they said about don't send these little motherfuckers to jail? Depending on what that crime is, y'all ask me to do that time. Period. Because there's some kids out here that are monsters that don't give a damn, don't give a fuck. Now, if you're one of them kids that actually killed somebody because they were abusing you or something, I can totally understand that. So depending on the crime, your little ass need to go do that motherfucking time. So, what if they're a misguided youth, though? What I was going to say, a lot of shoot, a lot of these majority of these people that are in prison was misguided youth or whatever. But however, still not an ex- excuse. Mm-hmm. Still not an excuse to do what you want to shoot. I was misguided as a kid. I was going out there killing and all that shit. I wanted to break the mold for real. But uh, what I was going to say is rehabilitation. Rehabilitation is you send these people to prisons, kids and all. Where's the rehabilitation uh, systems and and programs in the cr- criminal justice system? Mm. Don't you can't just have them locked up for punishment and then throw them in a halfway house for a little minute. Y'all still not educating them, still not really helping them, and then throw them back on the street and expect them not to, you know, uh, what's the word? Recidivism. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you make it harder for them after they yeah. get out of jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so How the fuck is that going to help anybody? Rehabilitate this, these kids. This is what I want to know. 
I want to know what y'all think or what do y'all think should be the um the counteract for like let's say that a kid hasn't even started to commit crimes but you see a kid going down the wrong path what's the course correction because is there really a scared straight program anymore and what do you do for a kid that may be disrespectful I mean, you don't wait. And big, uh, what was it? Big sister, big brother programs mm -hmm. back in the day. OK, the yeah, exactly. Because mm -hmm. don't wait for the kid to become a fucking criminal to try to do something. Because right. there is no nothing that stops you from even reaching that level. It's, uh, if he hasn't done a crime, there's nothing I can do. And then when they commit a crime, then they do the same shit that they trying to prevent in that topic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Like you got to keep him busy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I was going to say that. Sports, sports, martial stuff. arts. You know what I'm saying? That Boxing, part. something, something, football, something. See, and I get that, but me Not and you music. both know music. We used to go to drum practice yeah, every good. day, mm -hmm. and then you I would leave drum practice shit. and go be a criminal. I mean, but that's you can't because be a drum practice 24 seven. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But for those couple hours, you was a you model was, citizen. You was. You was Doing yeah. something positive. And that and kept you from making a crime that would have possibly put you in prison. Well, here, mm -hmm. but since you say that, let me ask you this. What would have kept you from going and doing that after band practice? That's a good one. <laughs> uh, Nothing. The money stopped coming in, I'm guessing. That's pretty much it. Because I was getting paid. So No, um, but let's, like you're saying, back to the beginning, before you ever even realized you could make money after band practice, what could somebody have filled that time with to make it to where you would have never even have thought about, oh, shit, I could be doing this. You get what I'm saying? I'm saying, yeah. but the what? actual drum practice mm -hmm. was that. But mm -hmm. when drum practice was over, then what? Because don't See, get me wrong. It's do. always a thing. chance. I'm asking you what would have stopped you from doing what you did. After but I really can't tell mm -hmm. you that. I don't yeah. know. Coach it, needed to have a uh, look. To just <laughs> give an answer, but it's hard to figure out what the actual action needs to be. I don't know. I say, I'll just say the best thing you can do for real, to be honest, is to just try to interact with your child more. You know what I'm saying? Know what's going on or at least have an idea on how your child think. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I was a good kid. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Or everybody thought I was a good kid. Whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I was so always, you know what I'm saying? I... I was cool enough, you know what I'm saying, at the home to be allowed to go out, you know what I'm saying? Then when I go out, I'm doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm, shit, we stealing bikes, we smoking weed, we, you feel me, whatever. <laughs> I done started a couple fires, all kind of shit, you feel me? But, yeah. like, real talk, You bro, know, I like, just thought about Chuck. Police came to my house and everything. Like, it, shit, shit was crazy. <laughs> if I would have probably had, because when I played drums, at that point in life, my drum instructors was my father figures. Maybe if I'd have had an actual father figure at home, yeah, maybe that home could have prevented me from doing a lot of shit that I was doing That's after what practice. That's I was getting at. Like, it's, there's, there's things that can be done at the root of, like, when kids are young, to mm -hmm. develop habits to where you're not wanting to go out and do shit. And, after you're mm -hmm. and, no, and we no, could change no like the home. media that they are engulfed in. Because every song that you hear now, you either doing drugs or you doing a crime. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, because when I was younger, I was the music we was listening to was you was selling drugs. Exactly. Now you're doing, doing drugs. <laughs> yeah, so, you're right. <laughs> and then right. you see all the, all the movies. Still Smoking by Misco had inspired me to smoke Black and Males. When he was mentioning all that stuff, all the, you know, yeah. you know mentioning and. When I went to the corner store and I heard That's black and male, like, <coughs> and old boy was smoking and it smelled good too. Mm -hmm. That's what Miss School's talking about, sir. Six, six, five cents. Can you go on the store for me and give me a <laughs> from week. Yeah, so music. Said, I it. smell smoke. Bruh, that was <laughs> <you know>? classic. <laughs> that was a banger. Great yeah, story too. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> yeah, man, I think that's that's some of the things that you could try to do to keep kids from going down the wrong path, man. Have a a decent structure at home, a, a healthy father figure. Yeah, kids gonna get Somewhere in the mission. And I was about to say it's something to yeah, do because you know are. idle time is the devil's time. So as long as you occupy their mind and got them doing something, 
you know, at least you know where they at. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All kids mm-hmm. is going to do something. Even if yeah. you have both parents in the house, you're going to still test the waters, climb out the window, go pick with your say, friends. And then it's just depend on how, you know what I mean, what they see and what they raise and who they around. My grandma exactly. was the best. Like, she was on our ass. She used to always be like, I didn't raise y'all to be like yep. this. She tried her hardest, yep. but I still, we still going to test you. But mm. statistically, a child that is sitting on a block all fucking day versus a child that's going to uh band practice or school or uh basketball practice and then he turns around and he's selling a couple nickel bags and shit on the street it's more prob- probable for this one to be up in prison before this one mm-hmm. period if i feel like if you start a good habit of communicating with your child when they're you know around the toddler age and starting to talk and keep that going you're going to through the communication that develops when they're <laughs> 17 you're going to be able to tell <coughs> when things are happening, things are changing. Like, you're going to know, oh, shit, he's got some shit on his mind or whatever. It's not going to fester in his mind for six months and then get to where you don't give a shit about everything and you go out and you start doing whatever. I ain't going to lie. Because as we sit here talking about this, I'm thinking about, like, thinking about my nephew and two of his friends that have pretty much fucking failed their life already. You feel me? And they all grew up together. And I'm trying to think what we could have did to change any of that for any of them. Mm. And the real answer is, it ain't shit we can do. Because they're going to do whatever the fuck they want to do, regardless. Mm. I got a nephew who... I got a nephew who we just um he's my little my 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 brother he let him put his name on his paperwork so he can go to Wayne play football be out the way and do that and all he want to do is go to the city and do hood rat stuff do hood, hood, hood rat shit friends. with his friends and act like you and, and sell bud and ride around with guns and shit and mm-hmm. stupid ass shit that you didn't have to do. That you don't have to do. Still to this day, you don't have to do that shit. But this is what you want to do. And you probably going to end up getting killed. Mm. Is it the music he's listening to? No, right. Is it the people he we, idolized? I don't know. I, mean, and, and I don't know what it is. I want to I talk about one more thing, though. I don't know what it is, but all I'm saying is there's how... nothing that any of us can do. No. To you stop feel it, me? Because no. they're going to do what they want to do anyway. Yeah. Just like another one, another one of my nephew's little friends, he just got caught with a gun. You see, and peer pressure is a motherfucker too. Uh, I mean, it is, but it ain't because my nephew you know ain't a kid. My nephew kids, distanced you know? himself from all that shit. That's because yeah. he got tunnel vision, though. He know. But I'm saying, though, that's what I'm saying. Is. It's yeah. on this like child. It's nothing that we can do mm-hmm. to for any mm-hmm. of them. Gotta they gotta want it, it themselves. Yeah. That's a fact. that's all I'm saying. Yeah. All right, so listen. I want to bring up one more thing, and then we're gonna wrap this up. <laughs> all right. Damn. Already? This just came. up. Yeah, Bro, man. <laughs> hey, hey, Yago. Yeah. He, he oh, like yeah. one mic, one mic. Yeah. Time flies when when you're having fun, huh? Plus, my son just bought two K, and I want to check it out with him. Man, See what I'm you. saying? All right, everybody has it. No, uh-uh. Check this. Here we go. Twin, where have you been? All right, listen. Two people have been taken into custody after a string of aggravated robberies in Dayton, as reported on News Center Seven and Five was there as law enforcement surrounded the Traveler's Motel on North Dixie Drive Wednesday afternoon to arrest one of the suspects. Dayton Police Lieutenant Mark Pond, whatever, told News Center 7 on scene that one suspect was taken into custody Tuesday in relation to the crime spree. As News Center 7 previously reported, police arrested a man after a 73-year-old woman was robbed at a Dayton business Monday afternoon and the second suspect was on the run. The P word, whatever the lieutenant name is, said there was an additional aggravated robbery Wednesday morning at the McDonald's on Edwin C. Moses Boulevard, and the suspect was described to be from the previous robbery. The mm-hmm. suspect was eventually tracked down to the Traveler's Motel. Police were, were able to contact, hold on, police were able to make contact with him over the phone to convince him to come out of the room, and he was taken into custody. The Montgomery mm-hmm. County Sheriff's Office SWAT team responded to the scene to assist. They said that this lady was robbed and dragged. Damn. 73 years old. Ooh, Jesus. That's crazy. Do Fucking that to my grandpa. Up. Lock his Ooh. ass up. Do that to my grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. Where the fuck he is? Down. He don't give a damn about nothing or nobody. The rules no longer, not. it's not even that they don't apply, but they don't exist anymore. That's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. It's do that, to my, do that to my grandfather. 
And I swear to God, I'm I'm going to jail. But I'm you know what? It's oh, damn near to the point where we almost gotta have that energy for other people's grandfather because like maybe he don't got grandchildren <laughs> to look after him because being seventy three and getting dragged. Yeah. yeah. One of them. Yeah, yeah, I ain't about to just three kids. You gotta help each other, you know, defend. They gotta be. It, it, I it, hate elderly know. abuse. Hey, they're going to Haitian <laughs> immigrant with the duck. Hey, oh, so Lord. that's a picture from Columbus. They figured, they found out where the picture was from and everything. And I wanted to bring that up because, look, if one of us goes down right now, mm-hmm. grabs a goose, mm-hmm. brings it home and cooks it, mm-hmm. what's the law that you broke? You're hunting out of yeah. season. That's the only law that, that's broken there. So that's not even anything to talk about. Uh, that's a ticket. He doesn't even go to jail for doing that. I don't think they was talking about it being illegal. I think they was talking about the massive spread of fucking Haitians. But ain't it illegal? That is good. I thought, yeah, I thought yeah. you, you can't. Kill propaganda. You can't. Like if they walking across the road, you, you gotta stop and them. wait you for these disrespectful get... motherfuckers to cross the street. <laughs> yeah, they never get more rights than we do. That is my number one. Yeah, but it ain't man. anything that needs to be brought up on a president. They give more. Debate. They give animals more rights than niggas. That's it's my propaganda. only thing that the Democrats have done. And that's that one. That. that goes back to my original point. He was getting dogged so bad in that debate that he just, ah, ah, give me something. And Springfield, they're eating the pets. <laughs> she don't she fact check me on that. Ass. She clapping him. Hey, did you see and, she's told, and she said, nigga, I ain't never say I'll take away y'all guns. Nigga, my husband got a gun. I got a gun. Nigga, we shooting. Yeah, I, I seen her husband. That. I could tell he got guns. Did you see when she introduced her? I'm hunting to him? wabbit. Mm-hmm. She, walked, she walked up to him, <laughs> shook his hand, and said, I'm Kamala Harris. <laughs> And yeah, get you know my name Trump, right. When, when he shakes on my hand, he does that pull move. Mm-hmm. If you go watch it, he tried to do that to her. And she, she wouldn't just, go. She just stood right there. He mm-hmm. just, oh, shit. He yeah. That moment on. He was gonna hurt strong. You're going to hurt your back trying to pull She was move. getting his ass last night. Mm-hmm. She was yeah. 78 years old. He needs to go fucking do something else. All right, y'all. Great pod, everybody. Thanks. I got to give it up to y'all. No doubt, man. No doubt. Y'all really gave it up this week. No diddy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no diddy. Oh, we shit. I give up shit. Ah, damn. I forgot it. Ah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to no. say this last thing, then we out for real. Diddy done got a uh, dude that's in jail that said Diddy sexually assaulted him. He just won a hundred million dollars. Because this nigga didn't show up, though. Real Boy, that's win. Dumb, that's that's how you win. I wish ever. my baby mama wouldn't have showed Why up you at think court? he didn't show up? Because he did it. Because he did that shit. OJ yeah, did, did it. Did it. Did it. He. What'd you say? They were going to pick him up. I guess exactly. they can't find him. They don't know where mm-hmm. he is. Nah. He was just I just seen him. In, I was about to say, he was just kicking it with G Dep. Well, he was I in Harlem. The other day that, that he's on the run again. They don't know where he's at anymore. <laughs> run away, love. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? His name was Love. Yeah. All right, anyway. What y'all got going on this around. week, man? Run away. Like, that was funny. Fuck y'all. What y'all got going on this week? Talk to me, Brandy. What's up? Uh, nothing. I should be starting a new job pretty soon. Woo-woo. Okay. Yay. Yeah, they've been every time, you forever, Every huh? time you get some new money, you never let me have none. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know she could at least cook for everybody. He lied like Trump last nah, night. Nah, just let me, get a, let me get a couple of dollars. Nah, I, I offer Franks, but forget y'all. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm with that. All right. Nah. What you got going on, Dango? <laughs> it's time to eat. Uh, you know, it's showtime season, man. I down there got college visits every week for like the next two months. She wow. You gonna let me know shit, about these beforehand so I can come on one of them? I'm telling I'm, I, man, Chuck, this is your announcement. Be listening. Hey, Chuck, be ready. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, like, I got Notre Dame coming up. I'm going to Ohio State like three times. We're going to the game against the team up north. Okay. Hey, we're going to the what? We're going to the game against the team up north. Uh, we got Notre Dame. Uh, they think either this week or next week. Um, going back to Maryland for the USC game. Mm. Um, it's, it's, we got a lot of shit going on, but you know, other than that, I'm trying to make shit happen for me. Jeez. That part, <laughs> I got a lot of work going on. Um, about to go ahead and try to get this uh, everybody eats episode green lit so we can get that shot. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And tomorrow, me and my brother Yago. Is going to AEW. Oh, yeah, we is going to. Hey. Oh, give me some. Oh, give me man. some. Okay. Going to AEW. Shout out. Please you get a picture of John Moxley. Shout out. Uh, <laughs> if he's there. Raw don't come on till Monday. <laughs> Here, dude. Here, bro. Here, dude. They're I going heard to watch it. Raw. Yeah, I heard you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard you, Brandy. I heard you, Brandy. I got you. Hey, yeah. Where's, you going where's to? Dino? 
Uh, it's, at the, where, it's at the Nutter Center, the Schuster Center, Nutter, Nutter Center. Center. Nutter, Nutter, Center. Nutter, Center. Nutter Center. The Schuster wow. Center would be crazy <laughs> work. Hey, man. Hey, man. It's <laughs> a center. They can't put no ring in there. Hey, but besides no. that, that's all I got going on. What about you, Arco? Man, chilling, man. Uh, On this 2K and this Madden. Ooh, we know was I mean? battling the other day, what we, we was. We was, hey, we, we got to settle the score, yeah, too. Facts. We, we, we won and one. Yeah. And shit, man. Chilling, bro. I ain't doing too much, man. Bezo, what's up, big dog? What you got going on? Listen, you know me. I've been trying to uh, put in a little, steal some little overtime hours because not this check. Well, maybe this check, depending on what the holiday pay look like. If not this check, next check, I'm going to have my little laptop, my capture card. You feel me? My big dog got to return. And we got to locate this microphone. And I'll be all ready to set up with on the sticks with Beezy, man. And I got the 2K. I got the Wukong. I got the Madden, man. I'm about to be going up. I got to get that Wukong. I'm about going to crazy. Yeah, I think I got to get it too, bro. These going. niggas keep talking about it. <laughs> big head gold baby. I got to see what's going on with that. <laughs> this nigga said a big head gold baby whooping I, his ass. You I got to gotta be. Hell, you got to fight his big brother. He, he the blue head baby, like. It's levels. It's levels. Man. Hell no. Nah. They both cold. They both whoop ass. I'm telling you. I wasn't ready. And the thing about time. this game is there is no difficulty change. No. You just got to get good. You in there. Yeah. Hey, they tell you that's a user skill issue. <laughs> no cap. Okay. Like, you really got to read a motherfucker. The motherfucker that you battling, you got to really read him. And it's a it's fire game. I, Worth the wait. Worth the wait. Worth, worth the cop for sure. Uh, but I got a wedding I'm going to tomorrow. My uh, okay. girlfriend's cousin, Tyler and Mary, they're getting married. So, you know, get to go oh, yeah. do that. What time is that? Uh, that's about like 6 p.m. Damn, I ain't going to be able to. You, br- you taking your lady? Hit both of me. Yeah, it's her family. <laughs> I mean, where did y'all get to? Huh? I mean, where did y'all get to? So we can crash the wedding? Uh, yeah. This we can crash right the wedding after, and right then go right after. Uh oh, look, look. He said, start at six. Start at six. Get tired start of this at seven. <laughs> we can mingle for about like, you ain't 20, getting a fucking picture. 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> fucking wedding you feel me? <laughs> we damn near got to catch an Uber. Where the wedding at? I'll give you the decent one. Hey, yeah, for sure. Shit. It's in uh, Farmersville, though, for I sure. Okay. <laughs> Chuck, what's up? Right. What you got going on? Football, football, football. Football. And then on the 23rd, I start school. Okay. Hey man, shout out to Chuck. Chuck standing on business, boy. Hey. Big standing on business. Big, big step on. Sorry, them Cleveland Browns ain't, but yeah, hey, I don't shout out to the Patriots. Uh, shout out to the Patriots. Over, we want to know. <laughs> Beezy was right. kicking his team's back in last week. I was too. It? My team did too. They deserved it. Not, but <laughs> I've never seen Beezy attack his own people like that. Hey, I saw my team attack hey, his people. We listen, it. put it in their life. We got, got real life delusional fans. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. yeah, man, mm-hmm. I had to, I had to let them know, like, hey, mm-hmm. <laughs> this ain't it. This ain't mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. This whole I've seen season this ain't before. It. Yeah. Andy mm-hmm. Dalton, AJ Green. I done seen it all before, man. It's getting real. Hey, my nigga Joe Burrow walking off the field doing this and shit mm. off the wrist that's not supposed to be hurt no more. Mm. Like, get tough. <sighs> all right, so check this out. We about to leave out with this nigga. Is this nigga named Timo Timo or is it TMO Timo? I don't know. I don't fucking know. But that's a good question. I, I heard this song and I didn't even know this nigga was from the city. Oh, but yeah. It's called 2022 Freestyle. This is Timo Timo, man. Since the show's over, can I... I'm trying to catch a roll. Gambling with your life, I'm trying to catch a roll. And you're now tuned into the number one podcast coming out of Ohio, if you ain't know. Shut up, yeah. my nigga Timo. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Knock a nigga out, stomp a nigga out Ride with the chop, you know it's locked and loaded Strumming my guitar, you know it's rock and roll Playing with my AR, ready to rock and roll Playing with the ice cream, ain't talking rocky roll Nigga smoking on hard and playing with his nose Cut these niggas off, these niggas gotta go Sick of bitch niggas, I ain't tryna catch a cold Gambling with your life, I'm tryna catch a roll Thirsty for some money, I'm finna murk a phone Play the hand, I was dealt, nigga, I ain't never fold Bitch, I'm all in, I don't even know the rules Bitch, that ain't no rules, nigga, I can't never lose If I don't win, rob the game, I'm all in again Less is never lost, I'm finna win again 
pray to Lord, forgive my sins, I'm finna sin again If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, watch me bend the rules Line them up like Steve Harvey, this a family feud Kill mine, I kill yours, I'm judge and jury Play for keeps in them trenches, they coming for revenge Vision 2020, I see shit clear This was supposed to be my year, now look at this shit here 2020, so fucked up, I just want it to end Pistol to my head, do I want the end? Loyal to the wrong people, I just wanted some friends Tried to ball on us, homies got blocked by the rim Pressure bust pipes, pressure make gems Falling out the gym, playing the pump and rim Call me my nigga, I hate it, had to be him Like, bitch you wasn't with me shooting in the woods Same day Gigi died, got took lil' cuz They sent Will up the road and killed my plug I thought it was what kind of forever, now look what the fuck How T'Challa dead, this what cancer do? Fuck cancer, long live the Black Panther Guess you gotta hit the ground running like double dutch Keep your foot on niggas neck like George Floyd Black lives don't matter to them or us Fighting for the right to live but we killing each other We fighting for the right to live but we killing each other Fuck R.P. Lil' Cuz, Lil' Darren, man Yeah. Shout out my nigga Timo. Now you got to come sit down on the big comfy couch with the gang. Man. He been waiting. Mm-hmm. When we when it finally happened, he gonna try to talk shit to me for stalling niggas out. Oh yeah, I'm waiting on <laughs> it. So check this. You already know. Everybody has an opinion. Uh-huh. Everybody has an asshole, and everybody has a podcast. Just, Just not, not this podcast. podcast. You were tuned in that everybody has one, and somebody, anybody, everybody, tell them when we gonna see him. In, in a, a minute, minute, boy. In a minute, boy. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm sorry, that was loud. Bitch. <laughs> 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 <laughs>